Hello everyone, um, I'm kind of making a tutorial today, just a few Windows 7 tips and tricks. I know it's kind of late because Windows 7 released a while ago, but I decided to do this, do this one for you guys just in case you haven't realized anything yet about Windows 7. So there's just going to be a few quick uh, kind of tips and tricks and I'll go back to uh, previous operating systems like Windows XP and Windows Vista that like you know, Windows 7 is missing some features from those previous um, operating systems that some people like. So the first one, um, it's a new feature that I like to talk to you about is Magnifier. So you can launch it here and basically it, wherever your mouse, it, your mouse is, in the area of your mouse it shows, it magnifies it so you can help like on a web page read um, some very small text or small text in a Word document and the nice thing is you can edit it so you can make it go all the way up to well pretty much yeah 1600 percent so that zooms in quite a bit so you can see the pixels of of these icons here uh, but uh, usually 200 or 300 does the trick and the views you can go full screen so you can actually move your mouse around so that you um, see everything just as if you were on the screen just magnified and just click here to exit and the lens you can see kind of a lens area like this so you can wherever your mouse goes the magnifier follows it and again just click here for more options and then docked so that's the first view you had so it's just in one spot so and you just use your mouse to control what the docked magnifier sees you can use the snap feature to um, size it wherever you'd like to either side or to the top the one thing I don't like about this about this is that it is a little bit glitchy um, your icons move around with it but if you want to have it that way go for it you can drag and resize it any way you'd like so it's a pretty nice feature if you have trouble um, you know not seeing stuff on your screen okay for our second kind of trick um, for Windows 7 obviously as you know Windows 7 comes with this taskbar that's a little bit thicker than it was in Windows XP and Windows Vista and some people don't like how um, it's designed so I'm going to show you how to change it back to the way it was in Windows XP and Windows Vista so all you do is right click on the task taskbar and go to properties and here you want to check use small icons and either never combine or combine when taskbar is full apply and OK so I can, as you can see I have it um, kind of more like the style it was in Windows Vista but similar to XP so I thought you might like this trick as well and to undo it just go to properties again unclick um, use small icons and always combine hide labels again and it goes back to um, the Windows 7 type uh, taskbar and obviously you can go in here and change it the way you like if um, you kinda wanna mix or something but that's our second tip for Windows 7 Our third tip is how to get a quick launch menu in Windows 7. In previous versions of Windows, in Windows XP and Windows Vista, at the bottom right corner, there was a quick launch menu right here, right? So I'm, and that didn't come that doesn't come default with Windows 7. So I'm going to show you how to get that. So what you need to do is right click on the taskbar, make sure it's unlocked, so it should say lock the taskbar and go to toolbar, toolbars and new toolbar. Now anywhere on the hard drive, just make a new folder. Um, if I were you, I would just call it Quick Launch. And select that folder. So now you can see we have a quick, it says Quick Launch um, right here. So what we need to do to get programs into Quick Launch is simply copy and paste them. So if you use iTunes a lot, just copy and paste iTunes in there. Or Battlefield 2. Just go through a computer and put any programs you'd like um, in your quick launch and then then when you click here you just have all your programs so it's kind of like a kind of like this but you can fit 
you can customize it a little bit more customizable. Now to make it look more like um, the quick launch menu from Windows XP or Windows Vista, right click and unclick and uncheck show text and show title. So and then just spread it out. Um, the more programs you get, the more you'll have to spread it out. So you can see we have iTunes and Battlefield 2 and just add more programs as you need. And to undo it, all you need to do is right click, go to bars, and unclick quick launch. Our fourth um, trick is how to disable arrow, arrow snaps. You know the feature that um, if you open a program and you drag it to one edge of the screen or at the top it will f fill the whole screen or either side to f fit half half the screen. It can be a helpful feature but sometimes if you're running um, like dual screens um, it can get in the way. So to uh, prevent that go to the ease of access center. Always in this section. Okay and then you want to go to make the mouse easier to use and prevent windows from being automatically arranged when moved to the edge of the screen and, and click apply and OK. So now you see there's no um, more feature where you can um, use the arrow snap feature and if you want to undo it all you have to do is go back into here and uncheck it again. So if you're running dual screens and you need some advice on that, that's kind of a good trick. Our fifth feature of Windows 7 that we're going to go over is, this isn't um, really changing it back to previous operating systems, but this time we're going to um, look at a couple of features um, that are with Windows 7. So um, let's say you have a lot of uh, notepads open. So let's open quite a bit here. Scatter them all over the screen. Now obviously it's kind of tough to see what's going on and you have, let's say you have one very important one that you just want to focus on but you can't find it. Just drag your cursor over the um, over the notepad icon and select which, which one you'd like and if you hold your um, your cursor on that uh, particular square you can see that the rest just fade away and you just see that and then the desktop in the background. So that's a nice feature and let's say you just want to uh, kind of take everything off your screen for a second and just look at the desktop. In the bottom right corner here if you uh, put your mouse over it, it it's a show your desktop feature. You can see it says show desktop for a while there and you can just see your desktop without seeing any programs or any open windows. Our sixth and final feature for Windows 7 is speech recognition. So I'm going to show you how to set up speech recognition and how to use it. So first search for Windows speech recognition Windows speech recognition right here and go through the setup prompts. Peter dictates to his computer. He prefers it to typing and particularly pre prefers it to pen and paper. Now these are just kind of um, personal preferences. Now you can print this if you'd like. It's up to you. Now here, do you want it to run speech recognition at startup every time? That's a personal preference. You can um, use that or not. And you can now control this computer by voice. So start the tutorial or skip. It's up to you. So now you can see this is the speech recognition. So just <laughs> click here for it to um, start listening. And I'll show you kind of how it works. Open Microsoft Word. Open Microsoft Word. So you can see it's it works not bad. This is great. 
please keep typing for me. So as you can see, as you talk, it types for you. So it may be a helpful feature if you don't want to type your Word document and you'd like um, the uh, speech to do it for you.